their health, no matter how bizarre or crazy it may seem. But some alternative therapies can put your health at serious risk. So today, I'm revealing which ones can help and which ones are just hype. The first extreme alternative therapy is for pain management. It's called cryogenic chamber therapy. Now, cryotherapy is the application of cold temperatures to all parts of our body. And it's something we've used for a long time, right? Many of you may have tried this high-tech version, right? an ice pack. But imagine if you could grow it. Right over here is a cryo sauna. It's got liquid nitrogen that's released into the chamber to cool down the body and reduce the inflammation and the pain. So audience, what do you think? Does it help or is it just hype? Yeah, what's your answer? Yeah. Oh, they are, they are split. They are split. All right. The answer, it helps. These new expanded forms of cold therapy can be very helpful for folks who have debilitating pain and inflammation. And let me show you why. Here's an animation of what happens when you have pain and why cooling it makes a difference. So let's say you're exercising and you sprain your knee. Right? You've got aches and pains inside of that knee, and what ends up happening when you have a, a, a eroded surface is the blood vessels over the painful limb begin to swell. And as those vessels swell a little bit, they'll release chemicals, and the tissue underneath next to it get influenced by these white blood cells that sneak across and release chemicals that cause inflammation, irritation, and almost a scratchy feeling. Now, that swelling can be addressed if you cool the joint. When you cool the joint, you shrink the blood vessels. And by shrinking the blood vessels, when they get smaller, it's harder for the white blood cells to escape. You have less swelling there for the tissue around it, less chemicals released into the joint space, and less aches and pains overall. It also affects the nerves. Because the nerves get cold, they stop sensing pain, and that influences, of course, the way your body will sense whatever's going on down there. So I'm gonna try this out. Debbie's here to help. How are you, Debbie? Thank Hi. you very much for being with us. Now, I'm, I'm told that you've actually tried cryogenic therapy before. Yes, I've done it four times. Four times. Yep. So I want you to get in, if you don't mind, the cryo sauna. And we're going to try this out. Debbie's going to do it for us on their stage for the first time. We're going to see if it makes sense. So it, the doors open like this, I guess. There it goes. Okay. Now, normally, you only wear your socks in here. <laughs> but because this is a nationally televised program, I'm going to grab, without looking at her gown. <laughs> there she is. Da, da, da. There we are. And we got there. Perfect. All right, now, the treatment takes... Oh, here we go. Treatment takes about two and a half minutes. But I, of course, want to see Debbie's head before I start. So I'm going to lift her up. I'm starting it up now. There's her. There's her. I see hands. It's a start. I see hands. There she is. You ever get scared in there? Not anymore. I was so the first what time. this device does is it rapidly pushes out. Enough? Okay. <laughs> So, rapid <laughs> so it rapidly pushes out uh, a, a cold gas. And while Debbie's in the cryo sauna, I'm going to move on, but we're going to come back again. It takes two and a half minutes. Are you going to keep your hands up like that? Yes. Okay. Right, everyone ready? Yep. Oh, I see the gas coming out. Is it, It's chilly in there, I bet. It gets really cold. It's cold like if you went out in the snow naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the metaphor out in the snow naked. Go back and talk a little bit about what's going on with Debbie. All right, let's cover her up. Ta da! There we are. Oh, I didn't put you down. There we are. She's disappearing. Coming back down. How do you feel, Debbie? Oh, I second. feel great. She's still with us. I'm glad about that. <laughs> All right, let's just see. There we are. Thank you. That's good. I feel really good. So, it's not too cold. No. It, it, it must be real cold when, it, when you get in there. It's really cold for a couple minutes. And when you come out, when it stops, everything's hot. I mean, your body, your skin tingles and you feel hot. Mm -hmm. And really, really good. I feel energetic. And good. So what we like to do on the show is spread the word, right? When we hear about things that other people in other parts of the world use, we want to bring them here. So this is actually used in Europe quite frequently, and it's been used there for many years.